As y'all can see, we went ahead and just forged the whole entire thing. <laughs> I was only planning on doing the handle in this video, but I'm so used to forging 5160 leaf spring material that that stuff is really hard to forge. It's very time consuming to forge. You have to have a lot of force behind it to move that material. Uh, the 80 CRV2 and the 1084 that I work with here and there, that stuff moves under the hammer very easily so I decided eh, why not go ahead and just forge the rough profile of the whole entire build so that's what we went ahead and did there we do have a lot of refining to do to this to get the profile exactly how I want it but at least I was able to go ahead and forge the material that I had I was able to cut off some of the end here and use that for a different build that I'm gonna have coming up but this was able to be 
forged down and I didn't sacrifice any material. So the piece that I cut off, like I said, I'll be using that for another knife. The rest of this was purely just the material that we used to get to the length that we need. And it is the full length. Full length. So, uh, like I said, we do gotta refine the profile. We're gonna be working on that on next Friday's video. We're gonna go ahead, get the profile finalized. I'm gonna go ahead and also do the bevels and the false edge in that video. So y'all will have a lot to watch in it. This is gonna be an awesome build. And I was listening to y'all and reading your comments and everything. A lot of y'all think that I should go ahead and make a smaller one-handed version of this. And I was planning on doing that already. So y'all will also have me making that as well. So I am gonna be making a smaller version of this, probably about a 10 inch overall length, where this one is almost 21 inches overall length. We'll have a 10 inch one. That way it still has a nice blade profile and everything. But we'll have that coming up. But like I said, next the next episode for this, which is next Friday, uh, we will have the overall refining of the profile, the bevels, false edge, all of that in that episode. Plus, what you'll have to look forward to coming up is that Gaiuto Chef's Knife Challenge that myself and the other nine makers that decided to participate in that challenge. Y'all get to watch all of their episodes plus mine. Now, when it comes to that particular episode, it's going to be a simpler episode so that people can just watch it. I'm going to be releasing a uh, video just dedicated to all of the trials and tribulations that came with building that knife. There was a lot of them. But y'all have an episode for that as well. So y'all got a lot to look forward to. After this build, we're doing a hidden tang knife. It's one of my, my first hidden tang knife. So a lot of things to look forward to. If y'all haven't yet, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel so y'all can actually get all of that. But guys, if y'all would, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or one of my other videos. And I want y'all to just have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.